right, welcome back to Sunday School. Hello. All right, today we are going to talk about the story of the feeding of the 5,000. And this story, part of the story, has to do with solving a problem. This okay. group has a problem and they have to yep. figure out how to solve it. Yep. So we're going to start with some riddles. Okay. Because that is solving a problem. Yep. So I have a riddle for you. Okay. What has hands and a face but can't hold anything or smile? Okay. It has hands? It has hands. But it can't hold anything. Can't hold anything. And it has a face, but it can't smile. So it just has a face, but it doesn't have a mouth. Right. Okay, what has a face that doesn't have a mouth? Um, how about a cliff? There's cliff faces. <laughs> Maybe. No, Maybe, no, no. no. Mm -hmm. Try again. Keep, keep brainstorming. Okay, face. It's how we solve things. Faces and hands. Hmm. Faces and hands. Faces and hands. No smile. Can't hold anything. Does it have arms? No. No? Legs? No? No. Just a hands and a face. How about, is it a watch? Oh, very close, yes. Could be a watch. So if it's a watch, it's not a watch. But a certain kind of be. watch, you know, that probably, yeah. Okay, so like an old fashioned watch. Old fashioned watch. Okay, like a clock. Yes, like okay. a clock. Okay. A All clock. Right. Very a good. Clock. You okay. got there. A good clock job. Has a face. Yes. It does. Mm -hmm. Like the grandfather clocks. Yes. Yes. Sometimes they have a mouth, mm -hmm. but they don't smile. Exactly. On the. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Um, All right. I have a riddle for you then. Okay. Okay. So it has what has 88 keys, but never opens a door. Hmm. 88 keys. Wow. That would be a lot of keys on my keychain. Yeah, I only have six. And these certainly open doors. Yes. So, not these kind of keys. No. Hmm. So, what has keys that doesn't open doors? Yeah. Hmm. It's not a turkey. It's not a turkey. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I just looked over in the corner of this room. And there is a piano. Is it a piano that it has is. keys, it is but does not open doors? Mm -hmm. It is a piano. Nice, good yeah. one. Yeah. All right. So let's read. Oh, let's sing. Oh yeah. <clears throat> so last week we did fish and birds. Um, uh, this week is um, God created animals and man. Mm -hmm. I think yes, animals yeah. and man. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's. Um, God created the animals and man, animals and man, animals and man. God created animals and man on day six. So we'll sing it. What should we do for actions? We did fish and birds last week. All right. Animal um, and man. This one's harder. I was this really one trying is harder. to think about. Um, what's the sign language for animal? I don't know. And man. We'll do like standing up. Yeah. Like a man. Um, mm. And a uh, animal. What could be an animal? Um, mm. like mm. teeth, like maybe like a bear or something that would have teeth, an animal, animal and a man. And man, animal, man. Sure, let's that try. Works. Let's try. Right. Okay. If you so, think of a better idea, let us know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. So here we go. God created animals and man, animals and man, animals and man. God created animals and man on day six. Yeah, good. does that work? That sounds good. Do you want to put it together with fish and birds? Let's do it. Okay, let's do it. God created the fish and birds, fish and birds, fish and birds. God created the fish and birds on day five. God created animals and man, animals and man, animals and man. God created animals and man on day six. There we go. Very nice. That works. I like it. But yeah, if you have suggestions on actions, send mm -hmm. them in. All right. Story time? Yes, story time. All right. You may go first this time. Thanks. All right. This is from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 6, verses 31 through 44. So Jesus and the disciples had been working hard with many people coming and going and no time to eat. Jesus told them, come by yourselves to a quiet place and rest for a while. They all left in a boat to go there. Many people saw them leaving and ran ahead so they would be there when Jesus and the disciples arrived. 
When Jesus got there and saw the big group, he felt compassion on them. And um, I have to restart that sentence. When Jesus got there and saw the big group, he felt compassion on them because they were like sheep with no shepherd. He started teaching. Late in the day, the disciples said, this place is isolated and it's late. Send the people away so they can go buy something to eat. You give them food, Jesus said. But the disciples said, should we buy food that costs eight months pay in order to feed them? Jesus said, how much bread do you have? Five loaves and two fish, they said. Jesus told them to see all the people in banquet fashion on the grass. Jesus took the food, gave thanks, broke the bread and fish into pieces and gave it to the disciples. The disciples set it before the people and everyone ate until they were full. There were 12 baskets of leftovers. About 5,000 people ate. Wow. Wow. Such a great story. Mm -hmm. That is definitely solving a problem. Yes. <laughs> All right. Definitely solving a problem. So your coloring sheets. You have the feeding of the 5,000 book for our youngest group you can color. We have this everyone ate until they were full for the middle group. Mm -hmm. And everyone ate until they were full with a little more detailed. Yep. yep. When I first glanced at this, it's loaves, a loaf of bread and a fish. What do you think is underneath here? The first time I glanced at this picture, I thought it looked like a cheeseburger. <laughs> Oh, just yeah, because yours has lines on it. Um, I don't know. Is it like a plate underneath the... Maybe, or like, I thought it looked like a clam or something. Yeah, because there's, well, there's like on here, there's a loaf of bread here, a loaf of bread and a fish, and then maybe like a plate, a plate and loaf of bread. Oh, that's fish. maybe it. I think maybe. Yeah, that could be. I think that's, <laughs> that's how I saw it. I don't know. Yeah. It looks like, oh, no, 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 no. I know what it is. What is it? It's, so this is Jesus right here standing his, oh, yeah. his beard and his hair and his shirt sure it is and then these are his fingers holding out the food oh yeah sure is and then his sleeves underneath oh yep and then mine here here he has his beard yep. drawn in and his clothes yeah huh. there we go all right good that's what's fun about these pictures is that it's kind of like figuring out what's there it's almost like a puzzle almost solving the riddle there we go yeah all right so what would it have been like to be one of the people in the crowd? Ooh. Um, maybe exciting? Mm -hmm. um, and maybe maybe a little bit of gratitude in there mm -hmm. uh, for, for the food and mm -hmm. the fellowship. Yeah. You know, here, I, it struck me um, at the beginning of this story, you know, you have Jesus and the disciples and they were teaching and they were tired, mm -hmm. right? And so then uh, Jesus said, okay, this is where we're going to go. We're going to go over here and get some rest. And what happened? All the people followed. <laughs> All the people followed. And there you go. You have um, the people there again. And that could have made Jesus pretty exhausted and irritated. Mm -hmm. um, but he... He loved them so much that he said, well, let's feed them. Well, first he got busy teaching. Yep. And then he said, let's feed everybody because we must be hungry. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, I think probably pretty amazed as a group of people. You know what that makes me think of when you said the that all the people they wanted to go rest and have be you know in a quiet place and all the people followed them it made me think of like parents with kids yeah you know like sometimes <laughs> yeah sometimes maybe mom and dad want to or you know moms mm -hmm. and dads want to just um go relax and rest a little but yeah but we as nope. kids you know kind of don't let that happen <laughs> i remember that when i was um, a little kid you know but yeah i i can relate to that yeah but that's true sometimes <laughs> 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 yeah uh, oh. So what do you think happened then? How did Jesus meet that need for all those people? Hmm. What do you think? 
Well, I mean, he fed them. I'm still kind of not sure on how he fed them, how he managed yeah. that to happen. Um, but he, he, you know, met their spiritual needs by ta uh, talking to them and teaching them mm -hmm. and, and um, loving them. And, uh, so, so yeah. And showing then, up. And, and showing up and, yeah, and just, you know, that just being there, I think, is, is a, a really powerful thing. Um, and, you know, putting aside the fact that maybe he was tired and, and wanted to rest, you know, he put, he put other people's needs first, mm -hmm. um, before his own. And so that's kind of what I, how I, how I feel that he met their spiritual and physical needs. What do you think? Yeah. One of the ways I've heard people talk about this story or understand this story is, um, through an idea that... Um, it was about sharing mm. and that just like we talked in our last week's story that when we think there's not going to be enough what do we do we try and hoard we try to yep. keep yep. we don't we're not very shareful when we get afraid or we think there's gonna be not enough for everybody right, right. but it's amazing when someone starts to share then all of a sudden our sharing opens up mm -hmm. So I wonder if these 5,000 people just didn't say they had food, but it was in their bag or they had, they were keeping it to themselves. Right. And then when one person said, and Jesus said, we're going to share, we're just going to start passing it out. Everybody started getting out their, their food, food and to share like everybody else. Yeah. And it became this moment of um, a miracle by everybody sharing. Mm -hmm. And then they had leftovers. And that we all have something to kind of give that way. Makes and me think of our church potlucks. Yes. Things like that. Isn't that fun? We, as staff, when we're planning these things, we sometimes think, oh, is there going to be enough? Should I bring something extra? Mm -hmm. And there's always, there's always extra. enough yeah. and leftovers. Yeah. yeah. It's true. Yeah. What a great story. All right. Um, let's sing, and then okay. we will... Say our prayer. Okay, so we're going to do God created the fish and birds first, and then we'll do animals and man. All right, here we go. God created the fish and birds, fish and birds, fish and birds. God created the fish and birds on day five. God created the animals and man, animals and man, animals and man. God created the animals and man on day six. There we go. All right. See you next week. Oh, wait, no. Oh, we'll pray first. Pray. Yep, Sorry. We'll to pray. All right. Deep breath in. Apparently Becky needed it. <laughs> Hold it and blow it out. Compassionate Christ, you care tenderly for us in mind, heart, and body. Please open our eyes to the needs of those around us today and make us your hands, like the disciples, in serving those and sharing with others in your name. And all God's people said, Amen. Amen.